start in Kalamazoo. That's where the child of the parents who were killed in a murder suicide has also died. That shooting took place yesterday morning outside a home and killed Jelena Gibson and Nicholas Mitchell. The four year old little boy was the only survivor, but suffered a gunshot wound to the head. And last night, that little boy, Nicholas Mitchell Jr., died at the hospital. Moving over to Wexford County, where a nine year old boy was airlifted to the hospital after a buggy crash. This morning, a semi tractor trailer swerved and hit the horse, pulling the buggy, causing it to flip, and the boy ended up pinned beneath the buggy. The extent of his injuries have not yet been released. The two other passengers were not injured. Unfortunately, the horse had to be put down for its injuries. The U.S. Senate has confirmed Holland, Michigan native Pete Hoekstra as the new U.S. ambassador to the Netherlands. Yeah, former Republican congressman was confirmed yesterday. He was actually born in the Netherlands, the real Netherlands, moved to the U.S. when he was three and is currently living in Holland, Michigan. Hoekstra was first elected to Congress in 1992. He served 18 years before leaving in early 2011. Uh, he will now leave his Holland, Michigan home for a home in <laughs> the other in Holland. The other Holland, yeah. yeah, yeah. The other Holland. Pretty cool. Uh, on this day, 42 years ago, the SS Edmund, F Edmund Fitzgerald sank in yeah. Lake Superior. November 10th, 1975, the ship named after uh, the president and CEO of its owner uh, sank during a rough storm on the lake and left no survivors. Largest and fastest Great Lake ship at the time, setting a number of records for largest season hauls. The last contact with the Fitz. Took place at 7:10 p.m. Uh, when, as you remember the song, a main hatchway caved in. Its records wasn't discovered until a half year later, on May 20th, 1976.